All right, Dr. Shankopotamus here. We're working on the uh, 2018 BMW X5. It's already up on the lift and ready to go. Um, we're going to be installing a hitch on the back of this. We're going to be winging this thing pretty much, and hopefully this will help you all out if you want to go try to put one of these on. So see, we're up here on the lift. All right, got everything up and off the ground safely. Down here we've got our various parts and pieces that you're going to need when you do this job. Obviously, you're going to need the hitch. That's the big piece, obviously. Um, and then over here is the last, the other part of the hitch. I mean, this is trailer hitch. That's the connection to the car for the hitch. All right. Now, and then back behind there are several pieces. Some of the pieces that came with the hitch that are connectors um, and spacers. Over here are these two square pieces. They're spacers that go between the uh, hitch support there and the, the body of the car. And I figure they're probably, they're just plastic. They might still be in good shape. The car's not that old. But I bought them. I don't want to get in there and, and be missing pieces. Another important thing, all these little different um, connectors and whatnots out there. They're fairly cheap. Ordered up a bunch of them in case I break them getting them off. There's some of them that I know I'm going to show you guys. Um, that they have to be broken to get off. They cannot be reused. So those little plastic rivets, and you can see some of those up here. Let me see. You might can see some of them. Let me zoom in here. So if you zoom in, you can see some of those little white plastic rivets. And there are some black plastic rivets up there as well, as well as a few little spacers and some grommets. Just in case you get in there and these things are breaking off, it's just not worth it. Uh, do all this work and have like a 98 cent piece that you don't have and you can't put it back together. So I always keep extra little things around. I just went online, went on to um, realoem.com, looked at all the different parts that support this bumper cover um, and the pieces around it and that's how I came up with what to get. Um, there's no instructions for this. Somewhere online with the, with the dealers there is a website that has instructions they can pass out. I'm unable to get a hold of that. So somewhere out there are instructions how to do this. I don't have them. Um, so we're going to take this uh, 2018 X5 back end off, or well, bumper cover, sorry, not really the back end, and see if we can make it work. Uh, one important thing that you really do need to get, they recommend, whoop, whoop, sorry, that's not the right ones, there they are. These guys right there, those nuts, um, they recommend throwing away the nut that is on there. The, even though the nut looks like it's secure, there's going to be eight of them, they go in the holes there on the end, put secure it up to the frame. Even though the nuts look like they're in great shape, they are a specially designed one-use nut. They crimp. I'm sorry, they are crimped. Once you've tightened them down, that crimps out of it. So it might stay, but safer, keep everything together, put a whole new note in it, nut on there when you take these nuts off. So anyway, Dr. Shankopotamus, that's uh, kind of getting ready here for the X5. Going to uh, have to pull off the rear bumper back here so we can get the, the hitch and the hitch support and everything up in there. Let me show you a little something here too. It looks like to me, I'm thinking, sorry the camera angle, it's really just gonna fit right up underneath here. So the, and there's a cutout for it to come through right there. So the big thing is getting this bumper cover all the way off. We're gonna start by popping the wheels off, okay? And then once your uh, wheels are off, you can get to the inside wheel covers. I'll show you that in just a second. Yeah, like I mentioned, inside the wheel uh, covers, you have these little rivets, plastic rivets. The way to get these things out is drill them out with a drill bit that just barely fits um, into there. Be careful that you don't harm the finish, obviously, but it's the easy way to go. Drill that center out and it, it pops right off. I guess you could use a punch too and knock the center out, but um, I think it's more finesse to actually drill it out. You have plenty of space back behind it where your drill's not gonna go into the body work or anything like that, but you want it to be just the size, which is I think it's 3 16 is the bit that I was using to drill this out. But you've got, uh, let me show you, you got three of them right now that I think are going to have to come off um, along with a retaining clip right here. Uh, and I think once we get these three off, that'll give us enough room to pull this off across here and get to your bumper cover. It comes all the way up here to the front by the wheel. Um, I might be wrong. Once I'm in there, I may find out that we have to go all the way around and have to take this entire trim piece right here. I may have to pull this entire trim piece off, but going after the wheels first right here 
and uh, we'll get these bad boys off and then I'll take a look and see what else we got to do. All right, so we've got the uh, rivets off. You can see up around here, all the three. I think three is going to be enough. I'm going to take a look back there and see if we can lift it up enough to take off the bumper cover, which I'm showing you that's where the seam is up there. Um, the fender well uh, insert or whatever you call it up in there, it's pretty flexible and it's got a cut right there in the middle. Pretty easy to, to undo it and just sort of pull it back. It's very flexible. You won't do any harm to it. Um, and then slip it pulled back. Of course, if you want to, you can go through and take, you know, all these other rivets out and that whole thing will slip out and be out of your way. So it's not too much more trouble to, to get this off all the way. Um, I just might do that if I have any trouble getting back in here. But I'm going to get you a look from the inside, um, showing you what these clips look like so you can get them undone. Okay, we're up and underneath looking back right here. And you'll see, when you look in here, you'll see a little clip right here that you can push over. There's, I think, five of these up and around the top. This little clip comes over and then carefully your uh, trim piece will, will come out. Okay, so we get back in here, you'll see this, this clip. When you look at it up close, I know it's hard with this camera angle, but you'll, you'll see. You can't just pull this off without getting this uh, wheel well insert out of the way so you can reach those clips and do it safely without breaking anything. So we're gonna pull those on off. Okay, looking up from the uh, rear of the car, this is this trim piece. Now, I don't know, y'all's may be different. I, I can't be sure, this has got the, um, M aerodynamic package on it and the M trim package. So um, these pieces may be slightly different than, than what you have. I'm dealing with what I've got. So, but these trim pieces, I, mean, you know, I showed you on the back, this little nipple, this or little whatever sticking out here. You got to hold that very carefully. You push that down from the other side using some of your uh, trim tools. You can hold it easily, push it down and slide it out gently, each one of these. Right, there's three of them. So I think there's five total, so one up here. If you want to go to the other side and pop them out, and I think that there's a little, um, another pop on the inside if you want to take the whole thing out. But once you get to this point, and you've managed to get it out to here, you have access, if you can see right there. Here we go, right there where my finger is. There's a screw. That's your access to get this um, bumper cover, back bumper cover off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that screw undone and start working on uh, how the rest of this comes off. I've already taken all the screws off of the bottom. I'm gonna go put down there so you can, you look underneath, you'll see screws around the bottom, four in the back, two on each side. Get those off obviously so that this is loose so you can start to work on taking it off. So I'm gonna go after this one up in here and uh, whoops, sorry, go after this one that's right up in here um, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so in order to get the bumper, I've got the back end open back here, got the tailgate down. Um, in order to get the bumper off, there's a screw up underneath here. This is your tail light. It's a screw right here, okay? There's a panel on each side. This is how you do your lights, too, on the back end. There's a panel on each side. It's got a little handhold here. And then up on top, there's a little lever right here that you pull. Pulling that little lever unlocks it. Then you can get to your light, okay? A little panel right here. Take a couple of screws off, pull the light out. I'll show you what we got once we get it out. But you should be able to come back here, boom, lights out. You gotta do it on both sides so you can get to this screw that's holding on your bumper cover underneath here. All right, here we go. So it's pretty easy to get this uh, tail light off. I'll show you, you can see that's the tail light from the driver's side. Once you pull back that panel and a little cover, you have two nuts right there. Take them off, disconnect the um, power to it, and off it comes. It's pretty much that simple. Self-contained unit, this one's uh, LED, so there's no light bulbs or anything in there to, to mess with. Uh, but pretty easy to get it off once you get that panel out of the back. I'm gonna go on the passenger side, get that one off. And then I'll show you real quick, I hate to pan the camera on you, but just so you can see what I was talking about. Now that we got this off, see the screw right there? So you got that screw to take off and then we should be able to work this bumper cover off the rest of the way. Alrighty. All right, so I'm working my way through this uh, bumper cover. Um, I will tell you that I tried a couple things as I got closer to trying to get this bumper cover off. I thought there's got to be another way. Maybe you can get this thing off by reaching see through here where you can see the nuts. I actually took a couple of nuts off and then you realize that the studs that are on the back of the body, they're too long to allow you to pull this off without having the cover off. So you got no choice. If you're going to put this on there, you're going to have to get the entire cover off. 
So a couple of things, and I'll show them to you when I'm out. If you move up just a little, if I move up a little bit, sorry. Inside this edge right here are three tabs. The two top ones are easier to get a hold of. There's another one that's right about here that you've got to carefully pull back and get out, okay? Another thing, you've got a screw underneath your reflector here. This reflector is not powered, it's just a standard reflector. Oops, let me turn over the right way. So it's got a, see the hook on that end? Okay, and a couple of places that pop in. So it goes in like this. You want to bring it out with the medial side, the side towards the middle of the car, out first. Just scoot it over, gently lift up with your things, protect your paint surface here, and pop, it'll pop out. You can have a screw right here. You have one of those on each side. Once you've got those out, you've got little, um, I'll show you. It's going to be hard to show you, actually. I'll show you once I get it off. But they're underneath here. I think there is, oh, sorry about that. That was the camera. All right. Um, one, two, there's four of them underneath here. Just gently pry those up and then you're loose, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other side, um, getting this other reflector off, getting this screw off, and then I should be able to lift the whole thing out. And that's when we get some help, all right? This is a big piece, I don't want it to bend warp, I don't wanna lose the connectors and all that sort of stuff, so I'll get my uh, son or daughter out here, my wife maybe, will uh, lift this off, two from each side, so we can disconnect the electro electrical connections and not damage anything. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, so actually it wasn't too bad. Um, I did go ahead and lift it off myself. It was actually easier than I thought it would be. Your connection, let me get over here. We're on the, uh, the passenger side. I can zoom in right here. You've got a, uh, as I come on in, it's right down here. There you go. Get a little electrical connector right here and that's for your sensors on the, on the back end. Just, all you have to do is kind of ease it back a little bit, and then you can get, let me zoom out so I can show you, then you can get between the muffler right here. I know some of the mufflers are round, you got even more room. Um, this M package comes with the rectangular kind of shaped mu mufflers. Um, but once you've uh, lifted the bumper cover out just a little bit, you can put your hand up underneath, squeeze it, pop, off it comes. Um, and then it slips off very easily. Just be careful not to scratch it or, um, you know, drop it or anything. I set it down on the ground with the painted surfaces up, um, that'll protect it. Now we're going to go in, I've already loosened this up, remember I told you that I, I tried to undo this and take it off without the bumper cover and that's not going to work. You just cannot um, get it out. So it's almost off, I've got two more bolts, or two more, I'm sorry, two more screws, oh, good gracious, two more nuts to pull off the studs up in underneath here. I'll get these two guys off and then this is my piece that comes off right here and I am replacing it. Um, with the uh, thing to support the, the trailer hitch. All right, well, here we go. All right, so we've got the support on here. Um, I'll tighten down, good to go. Um, I'm gonna show you, we got a, there's a attachment that goes in, an adapter, I guess you'd say. Um, this little guy, all right. It's got a plastic cover that you don't wanna lose. That's so you can just, make it look nice and clean on the back end if you don't have a um, hitch in there. This is the, the hitch that I got. It does come with a few very minor directions. The best I can tell, once your connector's in, your hitch will slide right in like this and it'll lock in the back. That's what I hope. All right, so I'm going to attach this while I've got the bumper out of the way. It came with um, all the screws you're gonna need. So the screws that came with the packet, obviously the three large ones that go through. It came with a couple of small ones and spacers. Um, like I said, no instructions. I'm just guessing here, but you can get a kit uh, for hooking up the wiring for your trailer. I'm not gonna be towing any trailers with this. I'm just putting bike racks on the back, so I didn't go in there and spend the extra five or 600 bucks, whatever it was, to get the, the electrical hookup. But my guess would be you can use, because these little guys are about the perfect size, right there to go through your holes here and probably the spacer on there and that's how you hook up the electrical connections. I'm not gonna be using those so I'm gonna get this little bad boy on and then we'll, we'll be back. All right so we're together here the support or the connector for your hitch is in. Tightened it up with the air hammer. Um, and I forgot about this. Zoom in here. 
this little piece over here that's with it. Um, like I said, I didn't buy the electrical connector, but this obviously looks like the thing for the electrical connector, the support for the electrical connector, and it fits perfectly right in here. So just so pieces don't get lost, or in the future if somebody else buys this and they want to put that connector on there, they have the support and everything for the connector. And I'll just leave it like that. It'll be kind of up underneath the bumper. You won't quite see it, but that way all the parts are there. If somebody needs it in the future. Okay, we're on, we're solid. And now we got to start the whole process going backwards. All right. Um, start working with the bumper cover, of course, first. Um, and then everything else will follow from there. There is one more thing. Let's see. I want to show y'all. Sorry for panning over, but right there. Um, the electrical, there's a, an electrical connection. There's, one, there's a connection that um, obviously goes on the bumper with the sensors. This is another sensor. Um, that's up this way on the bumper, okay? You're gonna have to disconnect this. This little guy here is gonna have to come out of the, the previous piece that was on there. And then feed this back down. You'll see little hooks up underneath that are up underneath here in the back. Feed it down there to the sensor that's right over there. Um, but you gotta take that wire piece off before you can get the piece that's on here off. Now, this new piece does not have a hole for plugging that in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just use a tie, a zip tie, and I'll, I'll tie that onto here and then down the back the way it was before. So let me get that um, sensor hooked back up. Then, like I said, just a reverse of what we, whoops, sorry, just a reverse of what we already did. We'll take the bumper and um, put the bumper cover, not the bumper, I'm sorry, the bumper cover get the bumper cover um, on first and all snapped in and then start putting the screws in and work our way around to the fender wells, put those back together. Um, and we should be golden. Let me get this on, we'll see how it looks. All right, so we're, the bumper cover's now on. There in the back, you can see there at the bottom, that's where it comes around. I put the back screws on, put the little reflectors on so far. I'll put the tail lights back on once I get it down. It's easier to climb in the back and, and do that. Um, these, these are the little rivets that you want. Got these from ECS Tuning, along with almost everything else. Um, and they're just little plastic rivets. The only thing about them is they're, they're a large diameter rivet, okay? So you're gonna need a little bit bigger rivet tool. Um, working in the garage, I've got this. This is made for metal rivets. Works great for these. If you're not interested in having to do something with a metal rivet, whoop, where'd it go? Ooh, this large. Then um, they do make several of these uh, riveters that are uh, plastic, made for the plastic um, rivets. Uh, they're less expensive, they're not quite as heavy. Of course, if you want one that's gonna do metal and these plastic, you wanna get something bigger, heavy duty like this. So I'm gonna go in here and I'll show you. You just put them right up in. You just put them right where they belong. And then push in with your riveting tool and it'll pull the center of the rivet out um, until it breaks. Um, breaks off the center piece, leaves the rivet in and secured. So I'm gonna go ahead and rivet this um, and then I'll put my secure, my nuts onto here. There's a screw up there. There's a couple of little um, attachment and a screw underneath. And I'll get all those on so I can get the fender well in. All right. All right, and there we are, uh, back together. When I drop the uh, car off the lift, I'll put the tail lights in. That's gonna be the last step, very easy step. Looks like it's on there just fine, and you can see underneath, that would be the support for your electronics if you were gonna put it on your electrical connection. There's my cover, pull the cover out and slip your uh, hitch into there. It's on there good and solid. You can see wheels are back on, okay, and the Fender wells are back in. Uh, everything's back together. Um, looks really good. Um, so anyway, this is Dr. Shankopotamus working on the uh, 2018 BMW X5, putting on the support for the trailer hitch uh, back here. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, hey, if you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out uh, with uh, YouTube. I gotta get up to a thousand before I start making money again. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good afternoon.